What up, y'all? Welcome back. I actually just got Nina, Tony, and Devin. Launch man, we're out on Lake Louisville today. We're gonna do some crappie fishing, have some fun with some friends in town from Georgia. It's gonna be a good old time. I'm just walking down to the ramp real quick. We are going to scoot right across the lake to a couple brush piles we know of and go ahead and start dangling the crappie goods. We actually picked up five or six dozen, I don't know what they grabbed at the bait shop, five or six dozen minnows as uh, the bait. We're just gonna use some real small hooks and drop shot uh, weights, well actually split shot weights to get the stuff down there. We've got maybe six spinning rigs on the boat. While they were grabbing bait, I went ahead and filled up uh, the boat with gas. I went ahead and got some ice for the coolers, one for the crappie. We might do a little catch and cook. Actually, I think we're gonna send the fish home with uh, Nina and Tony so that they can have a little dinner with the family. And uh, yeah, we're about to have at it, man. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> All right, y'all, morning. Tony, Nina, Devin, what's up? Let's get them. So like I mentioned, we got the drink cooler, we got the crappie cooler, and we got the live well with the minnows. We are about to toss them in here. Oh, that's a good one for dinner, I think. Oh, the big one. Oh, that's, uh, that one's going in grease. I'm gonna buy you some ice. All right. It was so bad. If I'm not back in five minutes. Oh, minnow down, minnow down. <laughs> Vanilla coffee. You got one? Oh, Devin's on. We're on top of the tree, as you can oh, see. That's a crappie. That's a big one. In fact, that line might be stronger than what I've been using. You could probably lift him up. Yeah, that's not the lightest stuff. Yeah, that's actually, whoa, right at the top of the mouth. Yeah. Literally what you want in the game. Cold brew, high brew coffee, y'all. Mexican vanilla natural flavor. This thing is uh, pretty dang delicious. 130 to 150 milligrams of naturally occurring caffeine, so they're not very specific. It's not around, it's not this side, it's on the other side. That's cool. We'll go exploring. Oh uh, my, you got him, you got him, you got him. So. Oh, you had him. Dang. Took it. Took the minnow. Took it. I got it. Yeah? Oh. Oh, yep, yep, she's got one, she's got one. The right side of the boat is hot. Uh, three. I got a little minnow. Is anything gonna even try and eat it? Oh, 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 there we go. I'm on. Okay, fight's picking up. Whoa, we got another good one. We got another good one. Right side's on, y'all. Get over here. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, yes. Maybe. I think I so. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You got him, you got him, you got him. Oh, yeah. Nice. Triple, tripled up. Tony, where are we at? We got three fish. Devin just put hers in the cooler. Tony, you want? Oh, he snagged. He snagged. We almost quadrupled up. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. All right, a lot of action. We're out here tripling up, man. No. Oh my. You know what, that's probably the same as this one. Oh, he is going. Does she? Yeah. You must. Another bass. Uh, fish number five. <laughs> I taught, I taught, putty tat. Normally we go home with five or less in the cooler and catch a lot of other species that aren't big enough and stuff, so this has been good. Another wow, another big one. What the heck? Three quarter pounder with cheese. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Tony got him. I think that's 11 in the cooler. We are almost up to a one person limit. You can have 25 per person. We got six dozen minnows. You do the math. I don't know if we can get the limit of 100 for the whole boat, but th this is the best day of crappie fishing we've ever had, though. I'll just be quite frank. We don't do this too often, y'all. So it is cool that we got the friends in town and we're able to get on some fish this morning. Is that not insane? Look at this tree and all those fish on it. Fish. I mean, there's tons. Get water. Get water. Get water. <laughs> Free. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. <laughs> crappie. Next slab Mother crappie. Crappie. Meanwhile, Tony, he's catching our bait fish. Womp womp. <laughs> Dang. This could be a record setter. 1.63 pounds. 13 and three quarter incher. Wow. I think we got a new record out here on the hot tamale for the crappie. New PB for Nina. Let's get him in ice. Yeah. Boom. Dang! Making the others look a little loud. Oh my god. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Uh... Real, real, real. <laughs> <laughs> Epic hook set, Modelo's time. Oh, oh throw him back. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, while we're here, let me go ahead and show you what we are dangling today. We got a little tackle box, and uh, all this stuff is just easily acquirable from like your local Walmart bait shop. So, Walmart or bait shop is what I mean. We got some eagle claw hooks. These guys are just, uh, honestly, this is probably like $1.30, and this is 50 hooks right here. This is a, this is a size six. Oh, they're kicking. So you really don't need anything over the top, just some tiny hooks and uh, very budget friendly when you get out here fishing for the crappie. Next we have some split shot weights. This one doesn't say the weight, but I would like to assume it's probably like closing in on a quarter ounce. We chose some slightly bigger ones because in the past we've used some smaller ones and we had to like put at least two on the line. So for example, here's two weights on the line because they're a little bit smaller. We upped the size this morning when we went and got uh, these at the store. So I'd say these are about a quarter ounce. That way you only got to put one on there. And what you do is you just kind of put it around the line and you squeeze it with your pliers to tighten it on there. And we've got that set up about, a, you know, eight to eight inches to a foot in front of our smaller hooks that I just showcased. And then we've just got some live minnows that we purchased from the bait shop right over here. We got six dozen that we put in here in the live well this morning. And so we've just got that continuously circulating. But of course there's options out there, just buckets. You can have some uh, airflow circulating to keep your minnows alive. And so we're doing the whole live bait thing. If you were to go artificial, we do have some crappie lures on deck though. We've got some of these little jig heads. This is literally called the Mr. Crappie Jig Head. This is 1 16th ounce and it's in the refrigerator white color. This is by Strike King. We've got some tubes, specifically called crappie tubes, you guys. You can't go wrong. This is refrigerator white. And then we also have some just soft plastic uh, glimmer blue, almost like minnow looking soft plastic. So if you're not feeling the live bait or you just want to spend a few bucks and get some artificial lures, I would say you pair up something like this jig head with these plastics and it's gonna look just like these minnows that we're throwing. We've got a uh, Death Stalker by Ketchco. This guy, actually, you can get this on Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'll link this below because a lot of people will use these for crappie as well and just drop down and kind of jig this. So instead of, with the minnows, you just let them sit. You find the depth that the crappie are at and you just let them sit. They're gonna be swimming around and you've got that weight to help get those fish down there in the strike zone. But with this guy right here, you're working the rod a little bit more. You're kind of bringing them up and letting them fall down. Bringing them up, letting them fall down. And on that fall is usually when you'll get the bites with something like the Death Stalker. So guys, that is what we have here. We also have some line. We got some 12 pound monofilament. Uh, you could easily go lighter than this if you're in some more clearer water. Uh, that way the fish, if they're line shy and they don't want to bite because they see the line, we're in a little bit more stained water. You can get away with just about anything, I'd say, in these conditions. And also we're going down into that thick brush, so we want something where if they wrap us around those limbs, we have a little bit more strength. So 12-pound monofilament. Mono is just a, the cheaper option compared to fluorocarbon. And uh, that will get the job done. I mean, we're just rocking some medium light uh, rods here. Any, I think just about any length will do if you're just trying to get out there and have some fun. Yeah guys, so head over to your local Walmart, bait shop, whatever, get you a little rod and reel, have some fun catching some crappie, miss your hook sets like Tony and uh, good old, <laughs> you'll be having a good old time. He thought he had a bite. Anyways y'all, let's get back to fish and I just wanted to give you the gear rundown. So here you go, this is that other setup we had right there with the tubes and that jig head. I'm just gonna drop this down for a second and see if I can't get a hit because we seem to be right on a big stack of them. Oh man, species right. number five in the boat, looking at the littlest drum I ever did see. I might have to compare crappies. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he's a fat one. A big one. The good crappie. We are on a crappie today. This is cool. Nice. Hey, Tony, we have a... Oh, got screwed. That was one for the ice chest. What just happened? Holy cow. Sure. She hung up. <laughs> All right, we're in the juice. Oh, there's one dropping. He's right in the mix. Oh my gosh, I'm about to get bit. Got, got him, got him. Oh, he's a good one too. He's a good one. Yes. All right, we're back on the right tree now. Back on the right tree now, boys. Oh, he turned on it. He turned on it. Eat it. Oh, man. Oh, got you. <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was something else. Whoa. What the heck? You getting some serious false alarms? Oh, uh, okay. Well, wait. You have something on. You have something on. No, you got him. Oh, a good one. You can put him on the board. He might be nine and a half, but oh yeah, you. I think you're gonna have to cut that one. The consults. Yes. 
maybe. I think so. Yeah. It's a bass. It's the first bass in a while. Here, I'll switch you. For you. Here you go. Nina's back on them bass. It ain't a keeper. Uh, Y'all, we had our first uh, minor mishap over here in the trolling motor. Got a little line wrapped around this baby right here. That'll tend to happen as you fish off the front for crappie. We're drifting away from the, the prime real estate. We'll be fine. All right. She's got something good. No way. No way. Oh, dang it. He bit it. Was it big? Yeah. It was big? It was about that big. No. Oh my gosh. So look guys, we're scanning on perspective mode. All these are gar out in front of the boat. Where are the Garmin's looking? Oh, see, there he is right there. All those are gar guys. Devin did have one for a second, but it came off. Actually catch something else too. Oh. Got something? All right. I'm gonna try and bring him slow because as soon as they start freaking out. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You ready, Tony? Go over the motor. Go over the motor. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. I did. I did. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. He's way bigger. Lake record. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my. God. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh hey. Uh, can we reel this one in, Nina? Can we reel that one in? I'm really nervous. That is a big gar. Oh I'm just gonna gosh. let him fight. Reel it in, Nina. Look at the drag. The drag is gone. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Nina, have come to over here, out. if you would. Let me see that action. Yeah, we just, we just don't. Thank you. That net's gonna not be. I am. I'm trying to keep it in the water because I don't want to dip it from there. I'm light. I'm taking my dragon. <laughs> Bringing him up. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is freaking so cute. Oh no, he came off. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Dang. <laughs> that was so right close. <laughs> that was nuts. That was yeah, big. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I saw him and I'm like, that thing ain't gonna fit in the That net. was a monster guard. It was not gonna fit in the net. I mean, well, 20. Yeah, we were gonna try. That was cool. All right, let's 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 try and go for one more. We were so close. Yeah. Let's try and go for one more. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm like shaking. Insane. <laughs> oh, got got one. Got one. Right here at the boat. Oh, did you see him? Yeah. He was like he was three and a half, four feet. Oh my gosh. All right, we're just starting to work him right. That's all there is to it. You just gotta go. Just gotta go slower. Oh, this line is so. All right, I gotta retie. Oh, biggin! Right here, under the boat. Oh my god! <laughs> Can undo what I've done completely out of luck this time. I'm stuck in reverse. I gotta get away now, but I can't seem to take the lead. Alright man, after that gar got off, we pretty much called it. It's getting hot out here, ladies and gentlemen. But turn that off. Just took the units off. We're about to undo the rods. Cooler full of goodies. Nina and Tony are going to be taking those things to the fam to have a little dinner party. We just got the plug out. Devin's tightening up the straps. Locked and loaded. Sweet. Going to go ahead and get the motor support. And we are going to get back to the house, man. What a fun day of fishing. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will catch y'all on the next one. Peace. <gasps>